It's King Kong vs. T-Rex in Skyland. Also, we're going to go ahead and unbox the King Kong Skull Island Storm Strike Monarch Expedition Team. Something just hit us right out of the sky. I have no idea what it was. We we're just going along and felt like a fist punched into the back of the helicopter. Everyone all right? I've had better days. At least we're all right. show you how
guys, great to see you. I found another awesome King Kong Skull Island toy at Walmart. These are exclusive to Walmart. And uh, after this review, I had reviewed all of them, all the King Kong toys, except for the spider one. So here is a look at the side, a look at the back. And here is a little bit more info on the Storm Strike team. So here you could uh, see uh, King Kong is fighting one of the crawlers. So uh, the only thing I don't like the skull crawler that they have is tiny. It would be nice if they made a skull crawler that is as big as the King Kong toy. Because the King Kong toy is 18 inches. Uh, I reviewed that also. If you want to check that out so it is totally awesome okay let's go ahead and get this guy out of the package so this is what it looks like in the package before I remove it so let's take it out and have some fun okay so this uh, first uh, one cool thing is the blades do uh, they do fold, so if you want to uh, use it for storage or something, and then basically you flip them out, and they lock into position. So it's not... Uh, a lot of these, like, cheaper helicopters, the blades are not locked, and, I mean, it's really hard to get them to stay in position or anything. And then uh, it does spin pretty good, too, so that gives it a cool, like, playability factor, although it seems to be hitting something right now oh I guess that became came unlocked so uh, it would be nice if you had like a little dial you could turn to get it to spin but that's cool too except it seems to be hitting this tail rotor a little bit the tail rotor also does spin so that is a little bit annoying it's hitting the tail rotor I guess you could always take the tail rotor off if you want to and then uh, let's go ahead, we're going to start looking at this guy from the top down. So you got like uh, something like a bunch of writing here. It says like access clear. You could see the helicopters like all scuffed up like it's been in use for a while. There is a good look at the cockpit. And while we're here, let's go ahead and open that up. So basically the cockpit just flips right back like that and you put your character in to here. So this one, he could carry the gun and still fit into the cockpit. So that's kind of cool. Snap down the cockpit and you are ready to go. But it is just one passenger in the cockpit. So that I guess is kind of maybe disappointing. It would be nice if it had two. Uh, these are like foot pedals or something. There's no uh, controls or anything in there. So detail wise, there's not much to go on in there. It does lock into play, but uh, it's cool. So here you have like third assault helicopter team on there. First aviation brigade. You got the sky devils air unit. And then uh, this door also does pop down so they could uh your action figures could fit in there you could probably fit uh i'd say about two maybe two action figures into the back there so that's they'll probably flip that down when they're getting ready to parachute out of the helicopter and then you got sky devils there it says danger keep clear you got the little uh tail rotor here that will spin around and then here is a look at the back the other side is totally boring i noticed that on the boat too they have one side is really cool all scuffed up just really like used type look and then the other side is just plain boring so it'd be nice if they uh, kept it consistent on both sides, but you know what? It's a cheaper toy, so display purposes and playability, I would say this toy is definitely worth it. Because uh, it does both. I mean, it is fun to play with, and it's great at display because of all the 
scuffed up look and everything to it so that is pretty cool and then let's take a look at the pilot uh i do like these action figures they remind me of gi joe action figures so his head will spin all the way around his arm all the way around uh his arm bends at the elbow and swivels 360 degrees at the elbow uh the gun that it comes with they actually have a strap to his hand so he would help hold it in like a two-arm position there so that's cool uh, I don't think I'm gonna remove the rubber bands I mean you could always like turn it like he's well okay so it is kind of hard uh, it seems to want to go straight so if you want to shoot like that probably rip your arm off if it was real life uh, he does turn at the waist, uh, good movement on his legs all the way back and forward. He bends at the knee so you could get him to ride in different type vehicles. And then here is a look at the back of him. Okay, awesome. Let me know what you guys think of these uh, King Kong toy figures and machines. Click the subscribe button below for a lot more fun videos. Also, click the bell button to be notified every time I make a new video. Click the boxes below for a lot more fun videos. And if you want to see even more, go ahead and click the subscribe button.